We actually started the program, the IMM program, that has been uh, a very successful program as well as many other programs by OIC. At the time we came to OIC we knew of their history, their background, their experience doing things like this in other areas and we wanted to uh, do this for Wilson County. We wanted to develop skilled trades people for work in our business and industry in the local area. We were at that time losing uh, prospects to Wilson County because of a lack of resources or trained mechanics. So working with OIC and later with uh, Wilson Technical Community College in developing a curriculum and then screening and uh, selecting the initial uh, people to go into the program, we, uh, we got started about five years ago. This is a mechanical print reading class as part of the industrial maintenance program, which is consists of about six classes. Uh, in this class uh, we learn to read uh, blueprints. We use uh, the book uh, Blueprint Reading and Sketching. Uh, in this book we also uh, do some sketching, freehand sketching. Uh, we have uh, overheads that we look at uh, that <clears throat> gives us the basics uh, for blueprint reading, tells us about uh, how to read a blueprint, how to interpret a blueprint. Uh, and this is to prepare students that are going out to work in industry. This is a good program uh, that will enable you to further your abilities to make a good living in life. In 1996, I was in a car accident which paralyzed me on the scene. I then uh, was sent to Ch Chapel Hill for rehabilitation for nine months. From there, I enrolled in a class at OIC IMM program, which enabled me to uh, get experience. In 1999, I was hired at Wrangler as a spreader from the beginning which moved me up to a copper runner. I enjoy this job, I enjoy my work. In the other room is where I download my orders from uh, Greensburg and sends it out to these potters right here. I have three potters that I have to operate. Sign your time, they the one that give me my work and it sends out to my station out there on the floor where the Gerber guy did it and do the cutting of all the VFG product that we series all around the world. Thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to be able to work in a facility of this side in this capacity. I really thank you. I couldn't have done it without y'all here. So I really appreciate all that y'all have done for me. Thank you. Growing up in Wilson County, um, as a young boy, I grew up on a farm, cropping tobacco. Um, had spent a little time working in tobacco warehouses uh, as a young man. Well, my grandmother um, put in tobacco pretty much all of her life. So I was pretty much around her all of my life. And I would like be at the tobacco barns doing little stuff as a kid, like picking up leaves and handing them to her while she looped the tobacco on a stick. Well, I worked at tobacco process when I was around, I think I was 16 or 17 years old. I stayed out there for about two years. I was a machine operator. Uh, I used to run a chain horse and I was a forklift operator. I always had worked on a farm. I raised up as a farm boy. Matter of fact, I farmed. And I wanted to get away from farming and trying to improve my skills because uh, everybody always told me, said, you need something else to fall back on. So, but I knew what I was doing, but I didn't have the skills behind it. They had no papers or anything. For us as mechanic work, I always did it in all my life. Worked on my tractors and everything, but uh, I did most of everything that had to be done on the farm. Hello, I'm Gail Schaefer. I'm an instructor at Wilson Tech. I've been here since 1992, and we're having a class on hydraulics. People involved in our class right now are from uh, the maintenance of Firestone, and the, which they work for Unico, and the uh, OIC, which they go through several different classes, and this is one of the classes we teach Basically, the, the basics of hydraulics, starting from what oil is to, to how to hydraulics is used in today's uh, 
different fields. Hydraulics is a very, uh, it's a necessity, but it's also very complicated and there's a whole lot to learn in 14 to 15 weeks of instruction. I'm almost about to finish up my curriculum as about two more weeks uh, for my IMM program and I would like to thank Mr. Eatman, Mr. Jones, and the Golden Leaf program for, uh, for allowing me the opportunity to, to be in this program. Uh, they've done a lot for me, and I feel like they're really going to put me on a path that I really need to be on at this point in my life. I saw the need to go back to school and improve myself and get more training in certain areas. I've always been interested in mechanical work and it pays good money so I came back to OIC, got some training and went to uh, Wilson Tech and also got some training. I got interested in the IMM program about two years ago, it was in 2000. Um, I had seen about the program in um, the Wilson newspaper. Me and my husband were working at Nucor Bearing Products as line mechanics and we wanted to go further in maintenance so therefore we um, saw that the class was held one Saturday morning so we came to see what it was all about and we became interested from that point on. The atmosphere that I was around made me want to change my life once I got into the program and it stopped me from wanting to do this to become a positive person and so that's what it's led to. My name is Mike Atkinson. I work at Smurf and Stone. I've been an employee here for two and a half years and I got interested in the IMM class after I was laid off from tobacco processing. I came and inquired about it and started the class. Then I was looking for a job and I came to Smurf and Stone. And I kept inquiring about the classes and kept them going. So I was here working while taking the class. And it has helped me out for the blueprint reading class, for the measurements, and the uh, we have prints here that helped me out a lot as far as my training. And it helped me to learn faster than a lot of other employees due to the classes that I took. I think this training is great, and what it does is when a, a new person comes in, instead of being totally green about working, what it does, he understands that, hey, I can, I can do a process. And when you work in a company, you just got to understand the whole process. And what happens, a lot of people that doesn't work into a, a plant before, they don't have that, uh, they don't have those skills to enhance them to do uh, working in processing and understand how the machine works. And that gave Mike uh, advantage of doing, you know, going through those skills. They had a apprenticeship job open then for a line mechanic and they taught us, me and like two or three other people, how to work on the machinery. And um, so I went through that and I finished that and um, I just started working as a line mechanic. Without the training, definitely I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And when I started to taking the classes, I had hope that it would, would help me get a job as an apprentice, which it did. Uh, when apprenticeship program was put on at my job, with all the classes that I had, it, it enabled me to be one of the top persons for that job. Uh, the more classes I had, the, the, the more points I got for the apprenticeship. They always said that what kind of skills you have. So now by me enrolling in the IMC, IMM, that it would give me an opportunity when I go to these places now that I would have some skills and something to put on my application to let them know that I'm qualified. For a job. All of those people have been uh, improved in their work skills and in their uh, their pay and uh, their uh, possibilities for future and opportunities and advancement with all the companies in Wilson. OIC has been a blessing to many folks and has uh, been doing a wonderful job in getting these people skilled and then getting them placed.